Okay, so this is a quick follow-up to the video I shared taking you through the complete workflow, retouching a seascape photograph in Lightroom on my iPad. And the part I want to follow up on is about the sky selection. First of all, let me just show you two ways to get a much better sky selection in Lightroom, and then I'll explain how it's done in Lightroom Mobile. So with this image open in Lightroom, I'll go to the masking section and click to create a mask of the sky. When we do this, more often than not, you'll find that Lightroom does indeed make a mask of the sky, but it also includes areas outside of the sky, such as in this case on the buildings and the distant hills and the sea. So to make this better, there are two techniques that we can use. First one uses the intersect command. So with the sky mask in place, we go to the three dots to the right of the sky mask in the masking panel. Choose Intersect Mask Using and select Sky. And look what happens. When I do that, see how the selection is much improved with it now coming off the buildings, the hills, and the sea. Now, the other way to do this was originally shared by my friend Brian Matias, who works on the Lightroom team at Adobe. Brian originally showed that when you first of all make a sky mask, to improve it, then go to Subtract and choose Sky. And then finally, go to the menu and choose Invert Sky Selection. Now, instead of going to the Invert Sky Selection command in the menu, you can also just click on the Invert icon here, and that will do exactly the same. So, getting back to Lightroom Mobile, if we make a sky mask, you'll see that the intersect command is missing. So, if we then go to the second method and go to subtract from mask one and then select sky, you'll see that there is no invert sky selection command available either. So, at the moment, to do this in Lightroom Mobile, we do need to click on the invert icon, which you'll find above the trash can on the right hand side. And you can see here when I do that, the mask is much improved. The only thing to make sure here is that you are active on the subtract section, which you can see here with the blue outline. If you're not, then you won't see the invert icon. For this image though, I don't actually like how the mask sits above the distant hills. It looks kind of obvious, so I think using the linear gradient and brush definitely works best when masking the sky on this image. And this shows that it's very much a case by case basis. What works on one image might not work so well on another. Oh, and my thanks to Sam Logio 7441 for commenting about the invert icon. I still want that intersect command though in Lightroom Mobile Adobe, please.